knees up into your chest. Keep your torso tall so you're not trying to reach down towards your knees or this isn't necessarily an aerobics-y kind of a knees to chest. Just kind of come into that breath, come into the movement. Think of tall and long. Let your toe to heel touch the ground. About four more each side. And then last one. So just take your heels to your hamstrings and we'll go the opposite position. Again, keep the torso tall because you're trying to stretch the quadricep here. Even though you're kicking your hamstring or you're warming up the hamstring, the opposite movement is that quadricep pull. Or the uh, yeah, quadricep pull. Three, two, and then last one. Let's just bring our hands forward and back. And rotate around your torso. Pick up your back heel so that you're not dragging, either if you have a mat on the ground or if you have a carpet, because you don't want to pull against the knee. Four more. Three, two, and last ones. Good, and then let's just go to a speed skater or a step out, step in. Get those arms moving so you're warming up the shoulders. Two more, and last one. So we're gonna do kind of a clock. We're not gonna go as fancy as we did the other day, but you are gonna step back, step forward, step side, step forward, and curtsy squat, and step forward. Same thing on the other side, step back, step forward, and then curtsy squat. And then again, so left leg goes back, left leg comes forward, left leg goes back in the diagonal. Right leg goes back, right leg comes forward, right leg goes on the diagonal. And again, left leg goes back and forward, and then on the diagonal. One more time, right leg goes back, right leg comes forward, and then right leg to the diagonal. Good. Come on, let's do a world's best stretch. So extend your left leg forward, right leg goes back, hold the position, back knee can be on the ground if you want, and then just take your chest up. We're gonna add to this world's best stretch. If you can, lift that back knee up, then take that top hand and thread it behind the lower arm. And then again, take your top hand back up. Take your top hand down as best you can to the outside of the front knee, and then hang forward across the top of the front leg. Step forward, step back. So now the other leg is in front, drop the back knee, hand on the ground, rotate, and come up. Take that top uh, hand down if you need to. Full leg extension, reaching up. Take that top hand, reach it behind the front leg or the front arm. Take that front hand, hop the back foot in, and then just fold across the front of the leg. Straighten out both legs. We'll repeat again. Right leg back, right knee down, reach up. Reach through, lift the back knee up. Reach back up again. Take your top hand down and hinge across the front leg. Step forward, step back. Back knee drops. Rotate towards your front leg. Back knee comes up, stay rotated. Top hand reaches through. Top hand reaches up, back down.
Step that back foot in, fold across your front leg, and then step forward again. One more time on each side, back knee down. If you want, or you can maintain that height, take that back top arm up. Take the top arm through. Take the top arm back up. Lower the hand down. Step the back leg in. Fold over. Step forward, step back. Last side here. Keep your back knee up if you'd like the whole time. Rotate towards the front leg. Thread through. Reach up, hand down, pop the back leg in, fold. And then step in. Walk your feet all the way back to a push-up position. You can be on your forearms if you want. And we're gonna go plank to pike. Or you're on a chair, elevated. You've got five more. Four, three, two, last one. If you're on forearms, you're going to stay here and you're just going to push up to a push up position and then come back down. If you're already on your hands, then you're going to reach back, touch your opposite hand to your shin. So right hand touches left shin, left hand touches right shin. So you're either going to do a hand to shoulder or a hand to forearm push up, or you're going to do a reach back plank to pike. Do five each side. Again, either forearm to push up plank or reach back for your shins. One more. Good, walk your feet in and come on up. All right, first set is a 30 by 30. When you hear the timer go off, you have about 10 seconds into your time. And then you got, so that means you have another 20 seconds of rest where you're gonna do some sort of mobility or just rest and get water, whatever you need. So the first one's gonna be a step back lunge followed by a plank in, in, out, out. So, and I'll show you. So, step back lunge. We're starting in three, two, and go. Step back, alternating for 30 seconds. Keep your chest up. If you bring your opposite hand up with your knee, that just kind of helps keep your motion in, in good oppositional patterning. You've got about 10 seconds left. Good, we're gonna come down to the ground. You're gonna be in hands. Shoulders are gonna pull back. You can be on your forearms if you want. And you're gonna tap out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in with your legs. So you're gonna go in, in, or in, in, out, out. We're starting five seconds. Four, three, get in your plank, and go out, out, in, in. So keep the head and chest forward as best you can. Get long. If you wanna take your legs wider, do so, but make sure that you're not swaying all over the ground. You've got about 15 seconds left. You've got two and last one. Good, we're gonna repeat that again. So step back lunges and plank in, in, out, out one more time. Again, you can rotate around your torso you can do a hand and knee, just to kind of get the body warmed up still a little bit more. We're going in 10 seconds. You've got five, four, three, 
and go. Just an alternating step back lunge. Keep that torso tall. Think of your chest as lifting, working the opposite arm with the leg. A couple more seconds. And then let's get down on the ground for out, out, in, in, or in, in, out, out. Just a little knees rocking. So positioning on the hands, if you're, again, you can be all the way down on your forearms. Again, you can be up on a chair. We're starting in five seconds. Get yourself set up in three, two, out, out, in, in. Nice and long in the back, you've got 10 seconds. And done. So we're done with those first two rounds. And then we've got forearm, shoulder, saws, our next one. So you're gonna stay on the ground for the next one. Okay, you can go on a chair. If you want for a shoulder saw. And then, cause the second one we have to go on is a kind of a plank tap out and I'll show you that a little different. So come into that shoulder saw and you're just shifting forward and back. So you're kind of working the ankles, working the shoulders, keeping that core nice and tight. You've got about 10 seconds. Good, and then drop down. So the tap in, tap out is it gonna be, um, again, from plank. I know a lot of plank and a lot of push-up position on this set. You're gonna hold the plank, you're gonna tap in and tap out. So you're gonna go nice and slow. Because we're gonna increase the intensity on the second round by doing jacks, okay? So get ready for three, two, and tap in, tap out. Go out a little bit further or even hold the leg up. Keep the head and chest up. Body's nice and long. You've got five seconds. And down. Nice. So again, we'll go back to that shoulder saw. You can go on to the ground. And we'll do that tap in, tap out. You've got 15 seconds. Starting again in five seconds. Four, three, Two, get into the shoulder saw. If you keep a general idea of your reps, I'll tell you how you're gonna be able to increase and change up the circuits if you want. You've got about 10 seconds, work those shoulders, Pull back into the core and down. And again, for your tap in, tap out, you can go onto your hands or you can go, say, on your forearms. So if you can keep a rough track of your set or your repetitions on a, another round, like if you want to do this whole set again to make it longer, you'll be able to create in a more intense just by doing extra reps. 
Let's get into set. Just tap out, tap in. Think of coming out and in using the glute, not just swinging the leg out and swinging it back in, but tighten the anchored leg as you swing the other leg outward to give you more resistance. You've got about eight seconds. And we're done with that one. Good. So on this next one, we're gonna do a squat with rotation. So it's kind of an offset squat position with a rotation to the other side, and then a push-up. Again, you can use the chair for a push-up, the ground on your knees, or a full plank push-up. And we'll still do 30 by 30. So let's come on up for a squat with rotation. Remember, you're gonna to go to your right side, press up to your left side. Squatting down, drop it as low as you can, like you're picking something up. Pull whatever your invisible is to your chest and reach up. Squat down, rotate and reach. Squat down, rotate and reach. See if you can do this without your mouth open, breathing. They may make you slow down a little bit. And done. So since we're doing two sets, we're gonna do the other set, one on the flip side. So we'll get ready for push-ups. Again, use a chair, the ground, or a knees, full plank. Getting ready in 15 seconds. I'm gonna start this one on my knees. You've got five seconds. Set your push-up up. Remember, elbows are gonna pull back, kind of in a W position, for 30 seconds. Now again, mind your reps. And so if you wanna add intensity, you can by the amount of reps that you do. We got about five seconds. So I got about 13 or so done. And so then that way, if I wanted to do another full round going back to the top, I would know that my number is 13 and I would try to get either the same amount or, um, or faster so I could get more repetitions done within that 30 seconds. All right, let's go back to the other side, standing up. Squat with rotation in five seconds. And go, drop in, rotate, lift that back heel, reach up. So find that length from that back leg all the way up through the arms as best you can. Go down as low as you can without having to look at the ground. Make sure that back heel lifts. Whichever direction you're facing, you're almost done in about three seconds. And I'm just putting the invisible weight down. Good. Setting up for push-ups. So I'm gonna modify and show them on the chair again this time. So let those elbows come in. Think of your elbows as riding past your rib cage. We'll set up, we've got about 10 seconds. So set up for your push-ups. Elbows tight to the rib cage. Shoulders pull back away from your ears. Make sure your head and chest is up. And then drop in for push-ups. Squeeze those glutes. So remember, the back side of your body is as much as part of the push-up as the front side. And then come back up, and we're done. We're done with the 30 by 30. Now we're gonna do a 20 by 20. Same movements, we're now just gonna add, um, we're gonna decrease the, the, um, the time so you can increase your intensity if you want to. Let me just reset my timer to 20. Or you can add load. So I'm gonna add load 
on some things by adding a resistance band. So on the step back lunges, I have it on an ankle and a foot. And I'm gonna stay on one side. So it's on my ankle on one leg and it's gonna be on my foot on the other. You can also add load by holding weight. So on that step back lunge, it's just gonna look like this. You drive back through the left leg because that's where the band is around my foot. If you don't have a band, use a load, like a weight, a sandbell, kettlebell, whatever, or do it without weight at all. So let's start again in five seconds. Four, three, two, and go. Five seconds, press back. We're here at 15 seconds on this side. Five more seconds. Make sure you're bending the front knee and the back leg. And done. Go ahead and pause. Move that band so it comes up onto your ankles, both ankles. Come down to the ground and you're gonna do a plank in, in, out, out. So you'll have the full plank position, forearms or hands. We're gonna start in three, two, back up. So out, out, in, in, or in, in, out, out, however you wanna see it. You've got about 10 seconds. Five seconds and down. Come back up. Now kick it to the other ankle. So I just take my heel and kind of do a keyhole and kick it to the other ankle. So again, my left leg now is my stabilizing leg. My right leg is my moving leg. Let's go in three, two, and go. Step back, forward. So that band wants to just really spring back into place. Try not to let it. You've got 10 seconds. Five seconds left. And down. Put the bands around the ankles. Come onto the ground. We've got about 10 seconds left again. Hold that band around those ankles in three, two, and go. Out, out, in, in, or in, in, out, out. Lead with the other leg. 10 seconds. Three, two, and down. Down, nice job guys. End of the first set. So you're gonna do a forearm shoulder saw and a plank, then you'll tap out different with your hands. So forearm shoulder saw band can still be around the ankles and just stay that forearm. And then the tap out, it's gonna get bigger and I want you to keep that one leg moving the entire time, you'll see. So on your forearms, we've got eight seconds. Three, two, legs are nice and wide, forearms are parallel, and shoulder saw. Again, you can do this up on a chair. Five seconds. Keep those heels from wanting to cave in and down. Come on up, just to release the tension. When we go out, you're staying on one leg, out and in, or you could do a jumping jack if you're not holding load 
in your band or if you have the band and you have enough stability to do the jumping jack. Let's go, single leg, out and in. Ten seconds. Two and down. Nice job. Staying on the ground because we've got shoulder saws again to do. I'm going to map my forearms. This ground is always so itchy and scratchy. You've got five seconds. Three, two, and shoulder saw. Legs are wide, heels are pulled out. Slow forward. Slow on the way back. Breathing. You've got nine seconds. And down. So again, same thing, other side. You can either do a jack or you can do um, single leg. And you even can do single leg alternating but it just creates more tension to do the single leg at a time. In three, two, step out with that foot, out and in. Keep that head up, hips down as best you can. You've got about four more seconds. And down. Good. Come back up. Keep the band on your ankles. Again, keyhole one foot. So on your right foot, put the band around the arch. Again, you can do this with or without load. And you're gonna rotate. So you're gonna rotate down and then push off and press up and down. We'll start in three, two, and go down rotate and press so you're really getting into those hips here in that rotation down rotate and press you've got about 10 seconds last ones and over and we've got push-ups now so push-ups if you want I'm gonna keep the band on my ankles just for the sake of, of ease when I come back up. Down on the ground. And we'll start in three, two, and go for push-ups. Again, elbows stay close, knees are wide. Head and chest is up. Five seconds, and done. Back up, keyhole that shoe, so you're on the, the arch of one foot, ankle of the other. We've got about five seconds, or grab a weight, three, two, and down. Down, rotate, up, down and up. Three seconds. And done. I'm going to finish this one. Come back down to the ground. Watch this. This is another variation that you can do. Take your band, if you have one, place it all the way up onto the upper arms. So I'm way up here, kind of by my deltoid, my bicep. So it's gonna press against my chest a little bit as I do a push-up. Arms are out, and then I can drop down, and I can kind of use the springiness of the band to come back up with. So let's go in five seconds. You choose your modification, and go. Drop in, come back up, come back up. You've got 10 seconds, head forward. And 
and done. That looks like a done and done, guys. So that's two rounds. That's two rounds of the 30 by 30, two rounds of the 20 by 20, and then we are done and done with that workout today. Nice work. So you can, of course, give me some information about how much her wrist and, and everything is sore, but work the wrist. So we're gonna do that in our cool down right now. So go ahead and get on hands and knees. Remember, wrist problems are shoulder problems. Wrist problems are neck problems. So if you're having a lot of problems with your wrist and, sh and wrists, go up the chain to your core, shoulders, and head and neck, and let's get those stabilized too. So let's just do a knees rocking. Couple of here, keep your hands out in front and don't come all the way to your wrists to full flexion, meaning don't take all the load necessarily into those wrists. Do three, two, and then let's come to the forearms and do a commando rocking. Pull back, sink your butt back to your heels, feel that stretch at your shoulders. That length, that pull. And then come as far forward as you comfortably can over those forearms. Good. Walk your elbows back. Walk your hands forward into the crawl. So it's a kind of a commando crawl with your just your upper body. One more time and then all the way back, and then sit back onto your heels, and just a head nod. So you can be all the way up, hands on your knees. You can be hands on the ground, light touch. You can even be down in a commando position. No one gets to come to workout commando if I'm in Zoom, okay? It's not a thing. Good, and then come up, and then take your left hand behind your back, look over your left shoulder and rotate, little spinal rotation, thoracic rotation, down, look up into your right shoulder, look to your left, rotate to your left, and then down, and then up, and down one more time, lift up, and then take the other hand, again, hand across the midline of the back, Look up over that right shoulder, look down, look up, look down, look up, up. Good, bring your feet all the way out in front, sitting nice and tall, chest is lifted, elbow holds knee, hand holds knee, and rotate to your left side, torso tall, open that left shoulder. So as you rotate, don't just turn in, but think of pulling that left shoulder open as well. Fingers point to your back wall. Look over your left shoulder. Big deep breath. One more time. And then inhale, look center. Bring your hand center and let's flip to the other side. You don't have to flip, I'm just flipping. Hold your knees, take your hand back. Again, make sure that shoulder opens as well. Look over that right shoulder. Big deep breath, inhale and exhale. And we are done. Very nice, you guys. Good workout today. You're welcome, guys. I will see you later. Have a fantastic day. If you're teaching it today, go therefore and teach via Zoom or Google Home or Classroom or whatever it is. If you're not, Get outside, go for a walk, do something. Do small, do one thing that changes your day, but doesn't create so much dis discord that it kind of throws the rest of your day off. But one thing, find one thing that you can do that makes the day more consistent for you today. Have a great day.